All right, this is your brother Aisha Yar coming at you with another lesson. First off, I'm gonna give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles of the great millstones I learned this truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word through the four corners of the earth within truth and sincerity. And shalom to the aqua that's listening and learning. <laughs> Today's video is gonna be entitled Lena the Plug, The Island Boys, and Tom Holland, I believe that's his name, all right? For the last person, Tom Holland. I believe that's a dude that plays Spider-Man, uh, I think. But once again, <laughs> this video is gonna be entitled, Lena the Plug, The Island Boys, and Tom Holland. And pretty much the reason, or the reason why I got inspired to do this lesson is because yesterday, pretty much social media was flooded with wickedness, all right? Just flooded with wickedness that's being promoted heavy. And of course, it's like that every day, you know, every day when you get on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or just get online, period, you know, you always see a ton of wickedness. But yesterday, wickedness was promoted heavy. And what I mean by that is, of course, Lena the Plug, her new uh, video, with Jason Love was released yesterday. And we already know what that video consists of. And the whole reason why that thing is being promoted the way it is, is because she's married, all right? She's married to this dude named Adam22. And pretty much, he gave permission to this dude, Jason Love, to have intercourse with his wife, all right? For money for money because that's all it is for money and pretty much everybody and the thing is that made it so controversial is because years back when they first got married he said that she was already a porn star as it is all right but years back he said once they got married she could no longer do scenes with other men and he was serious about that quote unquote <laughs> all right then here it is fast forward in the future, he allowed he allowed his woman to be rammed by another dude. All right, and of course, you know, yesterday the, the internet was flooded with all the memes with this girl with her eyes rolling behind her head and shit. <laughs> and people like Adam Twenty Two, this is what you really allowed to happen in your life. Then they had the other memes where Michael B. Jordan was crying. It was comparing him crying to the way that Adam 22, uh, the way he actually feels about the situation. It's a big ass mess, man, all right? Then, uh, uh, right, the Island Boys, I don't know shit about them, but, you know, I just uh, came across it or whatever yesterday on Twitter, and of course, it's, it's two men kissing, all right? Two men kissing, two tatted up looking Edomites tongue kissing each other, man. That, man, I turned that shit off so fast. And the reason I guess that's so controversial is because I believe what I was told is that they are brothers. Brothers. So that's his wickedness on a whole other level. Not only is that unseemly and not only is that worthy enough for death, but goddamn, these two brothers are tongue kissing. All right? Then, to top it off, like I said, <laughs> Tom Holland, I believe that's what his, that's what his name is, all right? Uh, I guess he got a new show or something that's out, and pretty much the thing that was getting promoted was him getting rammed by Jake, a dude, another man, all right? These are the things that was promoted heavy yesterday, and everybody was talking about all three situations all damn day, all day. It was certain people that got on Twitter or whatever, they was just like, look, man, I can't even look at my damn phone today. And I felt the same way. I'm like, man, look at this shit. And then, like I said, to top it off, you keep scrolling on whatever platform that you're on, and of course you see the rest of the whores, the only fan females that promote themselves, the out of order men that's out here and shit, man. You know, everything that's wrong with America, you saw it all along with those three major things that happened yesterday. And so I'm just like, man, 
I'm just gonna put my two cents in it. As we all know, these type of things are supposed to happen because we are living in Babylon the Great, AKA America. But just like the scriptures say in 2 Ezra, it said this life will, will become weaker through age, roughly paraphrasing. And we're seeing it. Man, the next generation, if there was a next generation, has no hope, no hope at all, all right? This place is completely through, man, through. And just like the scripture says, well, the evil shall wax worse and worse, worse and worse. People don't give, people don't care about morals. People don't care about humility. People don't care about family. People don't care about themselves, all right? Here it is, Esau will promote you smoking cigarettes and everything like that, but he'll, he'll tell you, he'll tell you that shit will kill you. He literally tell you, he'll like, hey man, you can smoke this shit, but you can go ahead, but if you do, you might receive cancer, you might actually die from this. And what do people do? They smoke anyway. Just for the simple fact that Esau has built this bitch ass place called America, and people are trying to find a way out, and people trying to find a way to calm themselves down and be at ease because of their everyday life. And that's another thing. Social media is the fakest thing around, man. Because a lot of people, the only thing they do is just post the pictures of them being happy the majority of the time. They post a picture of them being happy. I'm enjoying life so much. Look at what I'm doing. Look at what I'm eating. Look at how I'm living and everything like that. They don't post what's going on behind the scenes. And the reason being is because everybody is going through something, man. But everybody don't want their dirty laundry to be out there, man, because the thing is, if everybody actually found out what people were actually about, people wouldn't, <laughs> this place would be in chaos, man. People already don't trust each other as it is. But then you had to look at certain people that you thought were quote unquote good people. And you'd be like, damn, man, you were actually doing this? You were actually doing that? That's why Yahweh Shah said himself, there is none good but one. And that is the Most High. So it's just like, you know, like I said, I'm over here just scrolling. I'm looking at all of these things that's being promoted. And as we all know, Esau runs social media. He owns social media. He He's the one that allows whatever articles or news to go out there. And so he knows that he has the power to be like, hey man, don't be promoting homosexuality. Don't be promoting, you know, uh, adultery, so forth and so on, male prostitution. But he does that anyway. Why? Because he's part of the wicked. Well, not part, he is the wicked, all right? And he definitely want you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to be wicked. Because as long as you all are wicked, he gets to stay in rulership. And the ones that's trying to be right with you, how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, got to deal with this ignorance, man. That's why it says uh, oppression makes a wise man mad. We getting tired of dealing with this, man. We getting tired of this agenda that Esau is pushing. He got to push that unseemly bullshit and everything. Everything, man. Little kids can't even read books without them actually learning how to give H-E-A-D to another dude. And that's a dude reading that book, man. A so a little boy. Come on, man. Why would you put something like that in a book for little kids to read? This is why this place gotta go. And it's about to go, man. Because we see the signs and we already know. Yeah, how about Shimmy Yabashi ain't gonna allow his earth to just crumble and just come to ashes, man. He's not gonna allow Esau to destroy his creation. Yahweh Shai is going to come back and renew everything. And we can't wait, man. Like I said, you just get to the point where you just get vexed and you just don't want to deal with this shit no more, man. If we all had the decision to just get away, live in the mountains or in the forest or whatever, and you know, and we, uh, and, and we knew that we'll be all right, we would have been did that shit, man. We would have been got away from these motherfuckers. But the thing is, we understand that we're part of this truth. And especially if you're a man, you understand that you gotta help push this truth, all right? You gotta help wake up the elect because as long as the elect is not sealed, 
even though the elect has been sealed since the beginning of the, of the earth, since the beginning of the foundation of the earth, you know, they've been predestinated. But at the same time, the most high put the spirit upon us to preach this word so then the elect can hear it and then they can be activated and then the uh, angels can go ahead and do their part, which is helping to bring the nuclear missiles over here to destroy America and then, uh, then the whole world can start off fresh, all right? Start off fresh with your house shot ruling it along with King David and 144,000. Okay, so like I said, we all know that these type of this type of behavior is supposed to go on, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't affect you. It's some bullshit at the end of the day, man, and we just getting tired of seeing it. You know, it's just wild that a lot of people will look at that lean of the plug situation, especially women. Women would look at that lean in the plug situation and be like, man, yeah, she got hers. That's what's up that her husband gave her another man for a wedding gift. The fuck? Because the first thing that she said in one of her videos was she gets more excited and she gets into it more if she realizes she's sleeping with another man outside of her husband. That's straight up wickedness, man. And then Adam 22, weak ass, actually got another man to sleep with his wife outside of Jason Love. So he pretty much is passing his wife around and his wife come home to him and then he dip in it with all of their, their DNA and shit all inside of her. Come on, man. This is the society we live in. And guess who's comfortable with this shit? Heathens and two thirds. They're the ones who's comfortable with living within filth. When you come home from work and you realize your house is dirty, the kitchen is dirty, dishes not washed, it puts you in an uncomfortable mood, man. Because you realize that can bring roaches, rats, snakes. <laughs> not necessarily snakes, but, <laughs> you know, it puts you in the mood where you're just like, Ugh, I don't want to be around this. Why? Because it's filth. So what you do, you clean it up. And that's exactly what we're doing through the spirit. We're cleaning up the earth and ultimately Yahweh Shah is going to clean up the earth because like I said the missiles are going to be shot here and then after that you know then that's when he uh brings his complete rulership upon the earth and he's going to get rid of the filth so we can finally breathe all right so we can't wait for that so I'm gonna end it with that you know I ain't gonna uh speak on too much of it but we all know that this is some bullshit and we just ready to go man Hey, so I hope this is edifying. So with that, I'm going to say call Halayim, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakak Wadash, double honesty, apostles of the great millstone, which I learned this truth from. Honor to the elders and brothers out there pushing this word to the four corners of the earth with their truth and sincerity. And Shalom to the Aqua that's listening and learning. And Yahweh Rod to Zion, I'll be back with another lesson. Keep pushing, Yasserala, keep pushing. We almost out of here. Shalom.